An update tonight on a bizarre case in Alberta. Just when a landlord thought her nightmare was over, it's taken another turn. Her tenant, who calls himself a free man, claimed her rental property as an embassy. Today, police arrested him, but some others took his place. Francis Savaggio reports. Rebecca Caverhill is a fighter and today is celebrating a small victory in a growing war against squatters. Fifteen months after a man calling himself Andreas Pirelli changed the locks and declared Caverhill's Calgary property an embassy of his own sovereign state, the freeman of the land member is gone. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I, I just want this whole thing over with and uh, to get on with my life. Police arrested Pirelli, whose real name is actually Mario Antonacci, early Friday morning on an outstanding Quebec warrant for assault. He was charged in 2007 after a Montreal landlady was pushed down the stairs during a confrontation with the man for claiming her property is his. He'll be remanded in custody at the remand centre in Calgary. Uh, for the next six days, sometime during the next six days, he'll be transported back to uh, Montreal, Quebec. Why am I under threat? Just but while Antonacci is out, friends his friends remain inside the house and are now claiming Caverhill's property as theirs. I'm not worried about leaving anywhere. I am here till my creator tells me to leave and the grandfathers and the grandmothers of this land stand up and help me in this situation. In the an eviction order Jesus. says everyone must be gone by 12.01 Saturday morning. A bailiff will serve the order sometime this weekend. Caverhill is optimistic, but she's also ready for a fight. I don't surrender when I know that this is something that uh, I really, really believe in, and I think that most Canadians uh, would believe this too. Uh, no, uh, uh surrender is not an option. Caberhill says she respects their beliefs until those beliefs infringe on her rights. This home has been in her family for 40 years. She has not been able to step foot inside for 15 months and shivers at the thought of the mess the squatters have left behind. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.